Okay. <clears throat> did you see the recent interview that um, DJ Quick did with Matt Barnes and them? He talked about the atmosphere and his experience at Death Row. And he said it was an extremely anxiety-inducing environment because of the gang members that were up there. Did you see that? And can you speak on it? The nigga that had a red rag up on the microphone, he said that? <laughs> anxiety? Oh, Lord. That means you taking medication, huh? Ah. I mean, I'm not going to make fun of mental illness because I have illness and diseases, and I know people that does have them. So, but I just find it funny. And I used to tell y'all about that. I told y'all about that 10 to 20 times. That Quick and Dre wasn't for that. I've been telling y'all that, but Reggie always was a liar. He always the one making up stuff. He didn't know nothing. I told y'all, everybody personalities. I told y'all, Quick and Dre wasn't for that BS. And it, Quick felt that way. Quick was, Quick was like that. But it's just funny to me that the, the super bad Paru will, will say that. But as you keep talking, it comes out. <laughs> you know, it comes out. It eventually comes out because the truth eventually surfaces up. You let people, as y'all say, keep talking, the truth gonna come out. Well, that's what's starting to happen if he made those type of statements and said that. And that's all I've been saying about Quick. No disrespect to Quick. I think he's a talent. People, and I always told y'all, artists are weirdos to me. People that can set up and create. I'm talking about artists that paint. paint. Y'all know anybody that paints stuff and all of that? He's a weirdo. Artists, creative people are, are that way. But they, that's a talent to be, they, but, but to be weird, they, they have talent, <laughs> you know, it's a talent. So it's hard to say somebody's weird when they have such a, a talent. But that's all I took from that statement, John, is just, yeah, 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 I believe that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw. That's what I observed. I saw a dude walking around Tinston, and that's why I get mad when, when he got other people up there pumping him up like he, he's this or he's that, you know, you know, throwing jabs at little Trey and all of that, young Trey. And so, that's what I observe. I, I think he's been truthful on that. But the nigga is a talent, an artist. He was. Y'all just don't know the, 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 the talent that, that DJ Quick had on the boards and keys and stuff, from what I hear. I don't know. I just know finished product. <laughs> but seeing him in there coming, being in that studio, him and G1, coming in there every day for the early shift, at work at 11, 12 o'clock in the daytime, they were putting it down daily. <laughs> Hate that he felt that it was a bad decision for him to be there because he wasn't signed there. Shit, Quick was just there as a producer on the production side. He was not there as an artist. He was signed to Profile Records. But the throw money helped him live the lifestyle that he was living. Because Profile wasn't taking care of him like that. And that's why I always say, Skill should not his followers, man. Should have took care of dudes. Should have took care of those dudes. Caution was getting treated bad over there by Q. Not because Q was a bad dude, just because that's all they could do. He gave them production deals and deals and stuff like that. There's so many people out there that I can say how he was looking out and taking care of people. It's not even funny. 